Let's get familiar with Broadcast Receiver in Android. Broadcast Receiver is an Android component, which responds to broadcast messages from an application or system. These messages are sometimes called events or intents. Broadcast Receiver allows the application or system to register events or intents. Broadcast intents are intent object that are used by the Android system to notify the application interested about key system events such as the external power supply or headphone being connected or disconnected. Broadcast Receiver enables application to receive intents. These received intents are broadcasted by the system or by other application, even when other components of the application are not running. For example, when an MP3 file is downloaded then the MP3 player gets notified about it and gets added to the player list. The MP3 getting added to the MP3 player list can only take place when the MP3 player registers an event. This action is done by broadcast receiver. The two major classes for broadcast receiver are normal broadcast, ordered broadcast. Normal broadcasts are asynchronous. Receivers of the normal broadcast run in an undefined order, often at the same time. Ordered broadcasts are delivered to one receiver at a time. Ordered broadcast can propagate results to the next receiver. Or it can abort the broadcast so that it can't be passed to other receivers. The broadcast message arrives at the broadcast receiver, and then the Android calls its onReceive method. The onReceive method is a callback method for broadcast receiver. Android passes the intent object containing the message to the onReceive method from the broadcast receiver. The broadcast receiver performs its action only when the onReceive method is executing. And when the onReceive method returns, the broadcast receiver becomes inactive. Thank you.